I am Professor Masood Fuzal. Today we are going to discuss a life cycle of a scarus lumbricoid or reproduction in nematodes. So I already had made a diagram for you and we are going to discuss uh, reproduction and life cycle of a scarus lumbricoid. A scarus lumbricoid is a pseudocelomate. Uh, the structure of which we had already discussed in my previous lecture so today we are only going to discuss uh, reproductive organs so a scarus lumbricoid is basically dimorphic it means that male and female have different body forms female is larger while male body is shorter than female let's look at this diagram this is the body of a female a scarus and the central part which you can see in the blue color that is the digestive system of a scarus which is also known as gut and intestine but we are not going to discuss that this uh, digestive system is located in a silom which is known as pseudocilom in pseudocilom there are present reproductive organs of the female body in coiled fashion but uh, i have taken out those coiled gonads reproductive organs to show their structure in detail so as you can see in this diagram the red portion is a reproductive organ of the female so there are two coiled ovaries present in silom and for uh, to understand it completely i have taken out these ovaries and made into in this diagram so that we can easily understand it so the first portion of the uh, reproductive organ is ovary as you know that ovary uh, produces eggs this ovary leads into a, another duct which is a part of ovary it is known as oviduct as you know that oviduct is a tube which transport x to other part of the reproductive organ this oviduct opens into a white tube which is known as uterus where process of maturation of x takes place after that there is a wide portion of this tube which is known as seminal receptacle where uh, sperms are going to be re received uh, and uh, eggs are stored over here and for the purpose of fertilization both seminal receptacles of top and lower ovaries open into a common structure which is known as in a vagina vagina is a uh, portion of the reproductive organ which will receive penis from the male and receives the sperms from the male this uh, vagina opens into a pore like structure which is known as genital pores through which a uh, male uh, and does copulation in this way this is a, a female reproductive organ of ascaris lumbricoids now let's look at the diagram of male ascaris lumbricoid so this is a body of male body is elongated contains pseudocilum in which there is a present uh, digestive system which is in the form of gut or small intestine as compared to female the male only has one testis located in the pseudocilum in a coiled fashion the first part of the reproductive organ is testis where sperm production takes place. This uh, duct opens into a sac like structure which is known as vas deferens. And from vas deferens, there is an other structure which is known as semical, seminal vesicle uh, where sperms can be stored for temporary purpose. And the uh, last portion opens into the cloaca of the body. If we look at the diagram of uh, male uh, ascaris lumbricoid on the posterior side there is a pointed end which is known as bursa bursa is specialized organ which helps uh, to transfer the sperms of the male into the body of the female so when the breeding season start male and female uh, ascaris come together they do copulation and from copulation male transfer its sperms into the genital pore and into the vagina of the female ascaris lumbricoid and process of reproduction completes now we are going to discuss the life cycle of ascaris lumbricoid so for that purpose i had made another diagram for you so as we know that the ascaris lumbricoid is a common parasite of small intestine of human beings which ascaris is found mostly every part of the world Ascaris lumbricoid lives in the digestive system in the small intestine of the human. I had made a diagram for you. This is a digestive system, esophagus, stomach, these are lungs, 
small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. These animals, male and female, are living in the small intestine of humans, where they lay eggs after fertilization. These eggs are present in the feces of human. As the feces are removed from small intestine into the large intestine and through anus outside the environment, <coughs> eggs are released into the environment from where they can reach water, they can reach soil or even they can reach in the uh, our surrounding atmosphere. In surrounding external environment, these eggs are present in the soil. These eggs undergo cleavage or mitosis for the purpose of uh, uh, growth. The single cell of the egg divides into two cells and then two cells eggs divide mitotically many times into advanced cleavage and it's going to become larva. After some time, this egg has been converted into embryonated egg which is called larva and this is called second stage larva. In this stage, as larva has been produced inside the egg. Now this larva, embryonated egg, is ready for going to be ingested by human being. Now this egg, which is called second stage larva, can be ingested by another human being uh, in many ways through help with contaminated water, with contaminated soil, with contaminated air or with contaminated food. When these eggs are again ingested by another human being, these eggs reach into the small intestine again through passing through the esophagus and into the stomach and through small intestine. When they reach small intestine where they hatch and after hatching they bore, make a bore in the small intestine and reach to the blood circulatory system of the human being. And from blood circulatory system these eggs reach into the lungs. And from lungs these larvae moves into the trachea which is a the pipe which is a, a pipe of air which is present on the up anterior surface of the body. From trachea they reach into the pharynx and from pharynx they are swallowed into the esophagus again and from esophagus they reach stomach and from stomach they reach into the small intestine where they start living as a parasite. They feed on the food that we eat and then become the adult, they make reproductive organs, they do fertilization, they produce eggs and the life cycle has been completed. So this is a very simple uh, reproductive cycle and for convenience I had made a summary of this whole cycle so that you can easily uh, take it or make it understand. First of all, male and female adult which are living in the small intestine of human, they produce, they reproduce by copulation and produce eggs. These eggs uh, are present in the feces of the human being where from where they are transported into the external environment. In uh, external environment they are converted into second stage larva which are known as infective stage or infective stage of the larva. These larva or infective embryo are ingested by another human being. These uh, larva when ingested they reach into the small intestine where they hatch. And after hatching, they make a bore in the small intestine and move into the blood circulatory system of humans. And from circulatory system through blood, they move into the lungs. And after reaching lungs, they move into the trachea, which is a windpipe. And from trachea, they reach into the pharynx. And from pharynx, they are swallowed again into the digestive system. From where they reach small intestine and start a new life as an adult and uh, then again they start uh, reproducing and uh, produce eggs which come into feces which come in become into environment and the life cycle has been completed so in this way today we had uh, discussed reproduction reproduction of a scarus lumbricoid and life cycle of uh, lumbricoid scarus lumbricoid i hope it makes sense see you in the next lecture until then bye